morning guys, welcome to another episode of my Russian holiday. Today we'll be starting in the breakfast room, or the living room actually. And let's see what we have. The first thing you got is some sausage and bacon and some scrambled eggs. And we got some bread to eat it with. And over here we have a chicken flavoured instant noodles. It's very nice. So we're gonna just enjoy ourselves. I'll see you guys later. Alright, so we're out of the subway and now we are about to enter the Kremlin area but now let's just look at the map so yesterday we were here in the red square next to Lenin's mausoleum but today we are going to exit here and we are going to visit this here this entire thing is like the Kremlin complex so out of the metro and out of the tunnel here we are at the gardens of the Kremlin it's the Alexander Gardens but first we need to redeem our tickets at the ticket offices so let's go So we come back down to the Alexander Gardens and now we are at the ticketing room station. So now we can buy our tickets and redeem our online vouchers and tickets. And yes, it's pretty cool. And then to my left we have the museum shop. You can buy your souvenirs after you're done with the museum. So we just got our tickets to the army as you can see. So it's very really nice. So then Armory, this one says Kremlin Armory. Cathedral. This is the Kremlin Cathedral. So there's actually a lot of cathedrals in the Kremlin, so we're gonna visit those after the armory. And yeah, after that we can see the diamond fun and yes, it's pretty cool. So our ticket states that uh, our visit starts at 10, so we have about an hour to wait because it's like 9, 10 now. Pretty cool, we can check out the links on the gardens. So right now we're just lining up at the entrance of the Kremlin. It's very beautiful, look at those towers. And if you look inside, you can see everything. It's not yet open for visitors, but yes, we can wait. Very long line. Alright, so we're about to enter. And to the outside is the Borovitskaya Tower. And it's really nice. It's one of the many towers in the area. Below the tower, there's a sort of a entranceway for cars and vans to enter. So yeah, this is the armory building, we're going to enter and I'll see you guys inside. So now we're inside the lobby, so we have to actually put our stuff in the cloakroom, all the unnecessary things, because yeah, there may be some things that they don't allow because it's a restricted government area. Okay, so let's enter the armory chamber. So we're done with the armory and basically we weren't allowed to bring our cameras inside but you know, some of the most priceless and most rare treasures in all of Russia I mean, they have, Rus they have treasures from the 16th century all the way up to the 21st and yes there were many like silver, gold, rubies, emeralds all like huge okay and they were all like put in gospels and books and crowns and there were even like, carriages and horse armor and weaponry muskets. There was a lot of things in there to see. Well, it's time to head on to the diamond fund. We know how to be cameras but I'll tell you all about it.
so all the diamond front room and basically what the diamond front is basically a huge vault a very big vault that's filled with all the nation's most beautiful treasures which include Catherine, Catherine the Great's crown coronation crown so it's like this big crown filled with jewels and gold and they had gold, platinum and emerald, sapphire basically a lot of gems they were showing off all their national collection they were showing off the treasures that were given and given to by other countries and to other countries so they showed off every single shiny object in their country it's a huge room and I think that room alone cost about 100 trillion dollars so all these towers along the Kremlin wall when we probably seeing them later but yeah the main ones we're gonna see later is the cathedrals and others so I'll see you guys later when we reach a place for break I mean for lunch so outside the gates of the Kremlin and the fences of the Kremlin, we have a huge street where many cars pass by. However, in the center of all of this, we can see this huge statue of this guy. His name is Vladimiru. He's holding a cross. Pretty cool. It's a huge statue for him. So in the front here, you can see the statue. It's very beautiful. It's actually really big. I've not noticed it. It's very small about it, but once you get closer, it's actually huge. So we found a place to eat. This is extremely close to the Kremlin, and this is Tara Boba. Let's go inside and have a look at what they have. <laughs> It's some eggplant with boiled tongue. In the middle, there's some uh, vegetables as well. So, and there's also some potatoes and carrots and all sorts of vegetables. So this here is leek soup, as you can see. If you put the spoon inside, you can see all sorts of vegetables and carrots and potatoes. It's very nice. All right. So the third thing that we have is ravioli with some some fried pork, pork lard and some. And then we got some sour cream to eat with it. It's very good. So our last three dishes have arrived. So this here is some grilled chicken with some mashed potato, vegetable, and some pickles. Then over here we got a ham inside like a very beautiful dough that's been fried along with some mashed potato and fried onions. So this here is chef's pork. So basically there's pork over there with some vegetables and then there's some potato with onion and some bacon and obviously we also have some pickles. Alright, so we're done with our lunch, very delicious lunch, and now we're gonna head back into the Kremlin so we can check out the various towers and the various cathedrals.